farming, with traditional methods, mainly by hand, is an extremely laborious and labor-intensive process that would take forever. But luckily, there's thousands of clever machines that make harvesting much faster and more efficient. From fruit pickers to pluck weeders and a whole bunch of harvesters, join me for today's video. I'm counting down 15 of the most amazing harvesting machines. Starting with number 15, the automated apple harvester. Apples are one of the most popular fruits in the world, but the way that they grow on trees in an almost random manner means that for a long time, the only way to harvest them was by hand. Recent technological advancements in robotics, AI, and precision mechanics, however, have meant that automated apple harvesters are increasingly seen on farms, and they've completely changed how the fruits are collected. At their core, automated apple harvesters are an example of how robotics can be finely tuned to handle delicate tasks traditionally done by humans. The machines use a combination of advanced sensors, camera, and these algorithms to identify ripe apples by analyzing the color, size, and even the ripeness of the fruit, ensuring that only apples ready for harvest are picked. Then, the robotic arms that are equipped with soft grippers, which are designed to mimic the gentleness of human hands, will go through the orchard and remove the apples in a way that minimizes damage to the fruit and the tree, which is critical in maintaining the quality of the produce and preventing waste. They're all equipped with GPS and mapping technologies, which allows harvesters to navigate efficiently through the orchard. The harvesting process is optimized, and the machine's carbon footprint is kept under control by minimizing unnecessary movements. Overall, these machines are more sustainable and environmentally friendly, and have the added benefit of reducing the need for human labor, which is becoming more important in a number of places because of widespread labor shortages in the agricultural industry as a whole. Number 14. A Seed Driller once a field has been prepared for crops to be grown, the seeds need to be carefully placed in position to allow for as many healthy plants to develop as possible. This, of course, used to be completely done by hand, with a farmer's instincts being critical to maximizing output, but now they're able to use automatic seed drillers to do all the hard work. Designed to plant seeds directly into the soil at a predetermined depth and spacing, the precision of a seed driller ensures uniform seed placement, leading to a more consistent germination and growth rate. This uniformity is crucial for optimizing the use of available land and resources, and furthermore, by controlling the depth at which seeds are planted, the seed driller also helps in placing them at the ideal location within the soil, where moisture and temperature conditions are best suited for their development. Another important advantage of using a machine like this is that by precisely depositing seeds, the use of seeds is optimized, substantially reducing the amount of waste and reduces the need for thinning out seedlings later, saving time and labor. Modern seed drillers are often equipped with advanced technology such as GPS and control systems which allow for even more precise and efficient planting. The density of seed planting is adjusted according to the fertility and even the slope of the soil, and it takes into account the optimal growth conditions for a crop that will be different across parts of the same field. All a farmer needs to do is program the driller, and then, as they drive around the field, it will automatically calculate where the next seeds need to be placed. Number 13. A Tomato Sorter when growing crops, no two plants will ever develop the same, and this means that when you harvest the fruits, there'll always be some that are riper than others, or that won't be acceptable to the stores that buy them than to sell to customers. This means that once certain crops have been collected, they need to be sorted before being sold, and this is a particularly intensive task for tomato producers. Traditionally, the sorting of tomatoes has required the manual inspection and grading of each fruit based on size, color, and quality. This, though, is time-consuming and often inconsistent. The automated tomato sorter, though, addresses these challenges by taking over the entire sorting process. And by using a combination of sensors, cameras, and even sometimes AI, it can quickly and accurately assess each tomato on the conveyor belt. High-resolution cameras and advanced image processing algorithms enable the sorter to detect various attributes of each tomato, such as size, shape, color, and even surface defects. The level of precision ensures that only tomatoes meeting specific quality standards reach the market, thereby enhancing the overall quality of the produce. Further to these basic checks, many modern tomato sorters are equipped with infrared technology or hyperspectral imaging, which also allows them to detect internal defects or levels of ripeness that are not visible to the naked eye. This capability significantly reduces waste. The efficiency given by the tomato sorter also translates into economic benefits for farmers and distributors. By automating the sorting process, the time and labor cost associated with manual sorting are significantly reduced, and the improved accuracy in sorting helps better categorize the produce, which can lead to higher market prices for premium quality tomatoes. Number 12. The Potato Harvester 
It's one thing to harvest crops that have grown above the ground, but there's a whole new complication in collecting the varieties that grow underground. Potatoes are a great example of this, as the traditional technique of digging up each potato by hand or with basic tools takes an extremely long time, particularly when you take into account how cheaply we expect to be able to buy them for. A potato harvester, though, simplifies this whole process with an innovative design that gently lifts the potatoes from the soil, separates them from the earth, and collects them for further processing. The system's not only faster, but also significantly reduces the risk of damaging the potatoes, which is a common issue with manual harvesting. The basic mechanism of one of these harvesters involves a series of blades or diggers that cut into the soil. These blades are carefully designed to lift the potatoes up without slicing or harming them, and then as the machine moves forward, a conveyor belt system separates the potatoes from the soil and the other debris by using a combination of shaking grids and sieves, which allows the soil and small stones to fall through while delivering the potatoes to a storage area on the machine. Also offering advanced features such as automatic depth control, which ensures that the blades operate at the optimal depth for each specific field. Some harvesters even include technology for for sorting potatoes by size directly on the machine, further streamlining the harvesting process, and meaning very little needs to be done between emptying the machine in a storage area and transporting the product to the customer. Number 11. An Automatic In-Row Weeder Whatever you're growing, and particularly if you're adding nutrients to a field to encourage growth, you're virtually guaranteed to find weeds growing alongside the valuable crop. These unwanted plants compete with the others for space, sunlight, and nutrition, so they need to be removed as quickly as possible. But this isn't necessarily as simple a process as you might expect. Chemicals are available, of course, but it's good to try to avoid using these as much as possible. And when weeding it by hand, you're able to identify which plants are the crops you want to grow and which are the weeds you want to remove. But it's not as easy for a machine to make this judgment. An automatic in-row weeder, though, provides a mechanical solution that targets weeds effectively without the drawbacks of chemical treatments or doing it by hand. Equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, and sometimes GPS, machines can navigate through crop rows with accuracy. These sensors enable the machines to distinguish between crops and weeds, even when the two are closely intermingled, and then remove just the weed, a level of precision that's critical for avoiding damage to crops. Cleverly, automatic in-row weeders can adapt to different crop types and field conditions, with many models being programmable or adjusted to cater to specific row spacings and crop heights, making them useful for a wide range of crops. Additionally, some of the more advanced models will even use AI to improve and learn their weeding strategies over time, making things more effective and customized for the specific fields they're being used in. Number 10. A Swather or Windrower A swather, which in some parts of the world is instead known as a windrower, is a piece of agricultural equipment that's mainly used in the harvesting process of grain crops. It is particularly important in regions with unpredictable weather, where timely and efficient harvesting is key to protecting the yield from adverse conditions. The main function of a swather is to cut the crop and lay it down in neat, uniform swath where it can dry or cure before being collected by a combine harvester. This process is vital for crops like wheat, barley, oats, and canola, where the grain need to be dry to prevent spoilage and to ensure the best quality. The swather cuts the plants at predetermined height and uses augers or belts to lay them down in rows. And this method of laying out the crop accelerates the drying process by exposing more of the plant to air and sunlight. Using a swather is great because it allows farmers to harvest crops at the optimal time, especially in climates where the weather can change rapidly. As with all modern farm technology, the latest swathers are equipped with a range of complex technological advancements that can further enhance their effectiveness. Many models feature adjustable cutting heights, widths, and speeds, allowing farmers to customize the operation according to the specific needs of their crop and field conditions. And some swathers also come with GPS and auto steering systems, enabling precise navigation and consistent swath placement. Another important benefit of using one of these is the impact on the field itself, as by cutting crops and laying them in swaths, the soil is less disturbed compared to other harvesting methods, which helps maintain soil structure and health, and it makes farming the field more sustainable. Number 9. The Baler the baler is a critical piece of agricultural machinery. It's vital in the process of hay, straw, and silage production. They're used to compress and cut raked crops such as hay, cotton, straw, or silage into compact bales that are easy to handle, transport, and store. 
The introduction and evolution of the baler has significantly streamlined post-harvest processes and contributed to increased productivity and better resource management in agriculture. Now, originally the process of baling involved manual labor with farm workers picking up cut hay or straw and manually packing it. The mechanization of this process began with the introduction of stationary balers, which required their material to be brought into the machine. But now, the modern baler is usually a self-propelled machine that can be towed behind a tractor and will produce bales directly in the field where the crop is harvested. The main purpose is to collect the cut material and compact it into a dense, manageable form, and this is achieved by a series of processes within the machine, involving pickup tines that gather the material, a plunger that compresses it, and a tying mechanism that secures the compacted material with twine or wire. The result is a series of uniform bales that are consistent in size and shape. Now, balers come in various types depending on the specific need, including round balers and square balers. Round balers are commonly used for silage and hay, producing cylindrical bales that can be easily wrapped for silage, while square balers produce rectangular bales that are easier to stack and transport, making them ideal for hay and straw. Advancements in technology have led to the development of high-capacity balers equipped with features like automatic tying, onboard computers, and GPS tracking, offering greater control over bale size and density. Not only are they impressive to see in action, but by compressing crop residues into bales, they enable the recycling of these materials, either as feed, bedding, or as raw materials, helping to contribute to a more sustainable operation. Number 8. Carrot Harvester Carrots are one of the most in-demand vegetables around the world, but they are another crop that's more difficult to harvest because of the way they grow underground. Of course, plucking them by hand is labor-intensive and, while effective, was time-consuming and required significant labor. As with other underground crops, though, any machine designed to replicate the job would need to be able to gently lift the vegetable without damaging it, which isn't so easy when it also needs to dig into the ground. Mechanical carrot harvesters are therefore pretty clever machines that are designed to carefully uproot the carrots from the ground, separate them from the soil, and collect them for further processing, all with minimal human intervention. They usually work by using a series of blades or digging forks to loosen the soil and lift the carrots out. As the machine moves forward, a conveyor system collects the uprooted carrots, and some advanced models will also be equipped with cleaning systems, such as brushes or blowers, to remove excess soil from the carrots before they're collected. Carrot harvesters can cover large areas in a relatively short period, and it's this efficiency that's crucial, especially in large-scale commercial farming operations, where timing can significantly impact the quality and market value of the produce. Furthermore, by mechanizing the harvest process, the risk of damage to the carrots is reduced, ensuring a higher quality of the final product. To increase yield even more, they may be equipped with GPS and precision farming tech, offering adjustable settings for depth and speed in order to accommodate different soil conditions and carrot sizes, all while disturbing the soil as little as possible, so the field is almost ready for the next year's crop to be sown. Moving on to number 7, the Mechanical Tree Shaker. So many of the fruits and nuts that we like grow on trees, and this poses a problem for large farms. No matter how much a farmer may try, the fruit grows in an unpredictable way, and would traditionally have needed workers to climb the trees, or use poles to shake or pick the fruits and nuts in a careful way, so they aren't damaged. Methods like these are not only time-consuming, but also potentially dangerous to the workers and could cause damage to the trees too. But things have begun to change with an amazing invention called a mechanical tree shaker. It works by clamping onto the trunk or major limb of a tree and vibrating it rapidly. This vibration causes the fruits or nuts to detach from the tree and fall to the ground, where they can be collected, often with the help of a catching frame or netting. This method is incredibly efficient, allowing the harvesting of a tree in a matter of seconds, a task that would have taken a much longer time if done manually. The use of these machines therefore allows farmers to harvest vast orchards in a fraction of the time it would take manually. The speed also means that farmers can react more quickly to market demands, which improves their competitiveness and profitability. Now, modern shakers are equipped with padded clamps and adjustable shaking intensities to ensure that the trees are not harmed which helps maintain the health and longevity of them, and it's better for the workforce too. Using the machines reduces the physical strain involved in harvesting trees by hand, and particularly in recent years, farmers around the world have struggled to hire enough people to gather their crops, which has seen huge volumes of being left to rot. 
Well, as well as being used on farms, machines like these are even used in cities too, where, for example, you can see them driving through the streets of Valencia in Spain each year collecting the juicy oranges from the trees that line them. Number 6. A Cabbage Harvester so, cabbage harvesters are specialized pieces of equipment that are targeted at large-scale cabbage growers, of course, where manual harvesting can be particularly time-consuming and costly. Before the machines were available, workers would have to cut and collect the heads by hand, but facing workforce shortages and the time and physically demanding work that this has involved, automated machines are a useful alternative. Cabbage harvesters will usually see a series of blades or cutting mechanisms sever the cabbage head from the plant. As this machine moves across the field, it lifts each head, cuts it, and then uses a system of conveyor belts. Some advanced models are equipped with automated systems that adjust the cutting height and angle to accommodate different sizes and shapes of cabbage heads, ensuring a clean and precise cut. Harvesters like these also allow farmers to cover large areas quickly, significantly reducing the time and labor required for harvesting. And this minimizes wastage too, by allowing farmers to harvest crops at the optimal time. The quality of the product is improved as well, because the machines are designed to handle the produce more gently than humans can. This is essential for maintaining the quality of cabbage, and bruising or other damage can significantly reduce its value. And by ensuring the cabbages reach the market in pristine condition, these machines help in maximizing profitability. Number 5. Manure Spreader As crops grow in a field each year, they drain the soil of its nutrients. It's vital, therefore, that farmers encourage the soil's health by adding nutrients to it, but chemicals and artificial feed aren't necessarily the best options. Instead, they often have natural fertilizer on a farm that's produced by the animals and can use a manure spreader to turn this waste product into something valuable and to cover fields with an even layer of it. Manual spreading, of course, is how it was originally done, but as well as being exhausting and time-consuming work, it's also not very effective in ensuring an even distribution, which would often end up being thicker in some areas than others. A mechanized spreader, though, completely solves this problem. Made up of a large container mounted on a set of wheels, they have a mechanism that breaks up the manure and spreads it over the field as the machine moves forwards. This process is facilitated by a number of beaters or paddles at the back of the spreader, which chop, mix, and then fling the manure out. Advanced models will also allow for control over the spread rate and width of the distribution, which enables farmers to tailor the application according to the specific needs of their soil and crops. The use of these machines is invaluable to the maintenance of soil health, as manure is a rich source of organic matter and nutrients, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which are all essential for plant growth. By evenly spreading the manure, the machine helps to improve soil fertility and structure, promote healthy crop growth, and reduce reliance on chemical fertilizers, which can have negative environmental impacts. Number 4. A Rice Huller Rice is the most in-demand grain around the world, and it's believed that as much as 10% of the world's total available arable land is dedicated to growing it. It's something that features in most people's diets, but the rice that we eat from the plate is very different from the crop that's harvested from the plants in the fields. When it's first collected, each grain of rice is surrounded by a hard husk, and this poses a problem because it's not at all how the final product is sold. This means that producers face the question of when this husk should be removed, and the answer is as soon as possible, because it reduces the weight and size of the crop being transported, which dramatically cuts transportation costs. The machine that's used to do the job is a rice huller or rice husker. They work by applying mechanical force to separate the husk from the grain, and to do so, the machines typically consist of a pair of rubber rollers or a rotating drum, with abrasive surfaces that gently but firmly rub the rice grains against each other or against the abrasive surface. This process effectively removes the husk without damaging the rice kernel, and then the husked rice, known as brown rice, can undergo further processing, like milling, to produce white rice. It's available in a range of different sizes depending on the scale of operation, and they can process large quantities of rice quickly, significantly reducing time and effort. This is crucial for meeting the high demand for rice in many parts of the world, and is beneficial for large-scale rice producers and processors. Further advantages of using these hullers include the reduction in grain breakage, as modern hullers are designed to delicately remove the husks, preserving the integrity of the rice grain. The husks can, for example, be used as biomass fuel, animal feed, or in the production of building materials, which helps improve resource efficiency on the farm. They may also include features like automated controls, adjustable settings for different rice varieties, and improved mechanisms for separating the husks, which further customize their operation to meet specific needs. 
Number 3. Self-Propelled Mower Now, for various reasons, it's often in a farmer's best interest to let some of the fields grow grass some years, but this can soon get out of hand if it's not regularly mowed. The process is good for the health of the field, and the grass itself can be used to make hay. But the type of mower that we use in our backyard simply isn't powerful or large enough to do the job effectively. Instead, farmers use these monster mowers, and currently the largest self-propelled mower in the world is the Klaus Cougar 1400, which has a 46-foot or 14-meter wide cutting head. First revealed by the manufacturer in 2003, it can be customized in countless different ways. Looking like a four-wheel drive tractor, it's got a crab steering mode, a travel length of 38 feet or 11 and a half meters, and a travel height of 13 feet or just under 4 meters. It's powered by a Mercedes-Benz diesel engine and has an output of 480 horses, and its fuel tank can hold up to 250 gallons or 960 liters. The 1400's top speed is about 13 miles or 21 kilometers an hour, and when fully loaded, it can weigh up to 20 tons. The vehicle actually has five different mower units, which can each be operated independently, but when they're all lowered into position, it gives the ability to cover 22 hectares per hour. Kloss developed a new hydraulic folding design to make sure the mower is compact when not in use and everything can be controlled with the touch of a button from the driver's cab. It is a great example of what's possible when you're designing a machine to fulfill just one role, and it allows farmers to quickly mow a field, a job that, apart from producing grass cuttings, can be turned into hay, has little profit potential, and can often take manpower away from other more vital tasks. Number 2. Pesticide Sprayer However much we may like the idea of using as few chemicals in food production as possible, the unavoidable truth is that to produce enough food for everyone, they're hugely important. Whether it be to add nutrition to the soil or prevent the growth of weeds, there's a range of products available. But some of the most important are the pesticides that prevent crops destined for our plates from being consumed on the farm by swarms of insects. There was a time when farmers would have to go around to the field and spray every plant with chemicals from a portable tank, but this created a number of issues. First was the fact that there would almost certainly be uneven coverage, which means that some plants wouldn't be protected at all and some would have too much. Then the second was the likeliness that whoever was doing the spraying would also inhale some of the chemical, which could lead to the development of serious health problems. Mechanical pesticide sprayers have therefore dramatically changed things, with modern sprayers being designed to deliver the right amount of pesticide evenly and at the correct pressure to the intended target. Of course, they come in various types and sizes, from handheld and backpack models for small-scale applications to tractor-mounted or self-propelled sprayers for large fields. Advanced models are equipped with GPS, precision nozzles, and computerized control, where the amount of pesticide dispensed is adjusted according to the specific needs of different parts of the field, guided by GPS mapping. This precision application not only improves the effectiveness of the pest control, but also significantly reduces the amount of pesticide used. Another vital benefit of modern pesticide sprayers is their contribution to the Integrated Pest Management Strategy. IPM is an ecosystem-based approach that focuses on the long-term prevention of pests for their damage through a combination of techniques such as biological control, habitat manipulation, and the use of resistant varieties. Precision sprayers support IPM by ensuring that pesticides, when necessary, are applied in a manner that is least disruptive to the environment. Importantly, too, is that advanced sprayers come with equipped safety features that protect the operator, such as closed systems that prevent pesticide contact during the mixing and filling, protective cabins and air filtration systems to reduce operator exposure. These safety measures have led to a decline in pesticide-related illnesses, and are crucial in ensuring the ongoing well-being of those who operate these machines. Number 1. The Combine Harvester so, of all the machines that operate on a farm, the most majestic to watch is by far the Combine Harvester. These multifunctional machines, which simultaneously reap, thresh, and winnow grain crops, have completely changed the way farmers harvest and have almost single-handedly allowed for far more food to be grown around the world for the increasing human population. Before the advent of the Combine Harvester, harvesting grain crops involved multiple stages and a considerable workforce. Reaping, threshing, and winnowing were done separately, often manually or with the help of basic machinery. The Combine Harvester consolidated these steps into a single pass, dramatically reducing time and labor. This efficiency is really important during the narrow harvesting window, especially for crops like wheat, barley, and corn, where timing is key to maximizing yield. 
A combine harvester works by cutting the crop and feeding it into the machine, where the grain is separated from the chaff. The cutting is done at the front of the machine by a header, which can be adjusted for different crops and conditions. Once cut, the crop is fed into the threshing drum where the grain is separated from the stalks and husks, and then the grain is passed through sieves in the winnowing section where the chaff is blown away, and the clean grain is collected into a holding tank. Modern combines are equipped with sophisticated monitoring systems that allow the operator to adjust settings for optimal performance. Despite being hugely expensive machines, a single combine will be compatible with various header types so it can be easily adapted for use with different crops, such as corn, soybeans, or rice. This versatility is hugely helpful in the profitability of a farm operation because it allows farmers to switch crops year by year without needing to purchase brand new machinery. Also available in different sizes, from those are suitable to small fields to absolutely enormous models that can cover huge farms in no time at all, they are the most useful and vital piece of equipment to any farm. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.